Hey class, there's Billius here. Play like a wizard. Well, I've made a few notes to describe the general Gobo Laloon strategy. And today I'm going to be showing two of those attacks, as well as a Queen Walk Lavaloon and a Quad Lavaloon attack. I made a few notes to, as reminders, so when you're trying out this attack, you can go through the checklist. But the general strategy is to use a kill squad to take down key air defenses and defenses that are going to affect the Lavaloon stage of the attack. And with the Lavaloon stage, the best strategy is to find a way to deploy the Lavas in front, Loons in behind in a quick clockwise or counterclockwise circling motion to uh, take out the rest of the base. All right, let's start with Payne now of USMC. Payne now is doing a multiplayer attack, so he doesn't have too much time to plan. But he's going in from the west side with his kill squad. He's got a golem, a CC of bowlers to follow up, as well as his heroes. A couple whiz for the funnel. Wall breakers will be cracking that wall in the corner. Now the idea is to get his king into the base with uh, its ability. Funnel's a little tough with just two wizards. But there we go with the rage, the king coming back into the base. We've got the warden ability, the bowlers, and they're taking out both air defenses as well as that infernal sweeper and the archer queen. Now here we go with the quick deployment of the first hound. Surgical loons in behind targeting each defense. Two or three loons. And you can see that first hound. I've got this in slow motion to help you out. It's going to be a rage near the eagle, and there it is. That hound has finally made it over to that air defense. Of course, absorbing any air traps in the way. Here's another hound going in. Now with the eagle being taken out, just take a look and notice how the loons are being deployed in a counterclockwise direction. That's important so that the loons will head around the ring of the base. And now haste spells and a freeze will help the loons speed up as they go over that inferno and head further around the ring. Just deploying one haste after another. And there's the pups from the hound. Now you'll notice the third hound has come in at the back end air defense, the last air defense. And with some loons in behind and a haste, they take it out. And now we're almost at the cleanup stage. Got some pups taking out the town hall. And notice, I didn't mention it before, but the queen never went in with the kill squad. She's been walking the entire way around the base. Well, that hound and loon deployment was slowed down so you could get the idea. But clearly, if you're doing it in real time, you want to get that executed very precisely and quickly. And it was important when this base was scouted that all the expos are down. It made a big difference in the attack. So a lot of the points I made about Gobo Laloon back in the strategy page are being shown here. And now we've got the loons coming in at that clan castle and heading towards the town hall with the hound. And that pretty well wraps up the attack. Nice attack, a good example of using a kill squad and a good example of showing the clockwise or in this case counterclockwise deployment of the hound and loons as they go around the base. It's not the easiest attack, especially in multiplayer, where you only have a few seconds to plan it. But I think you get the idea of how powerful it can be when the expos are down. As the attack wraps up, let's uh, replay that section that I had slowed down before. I want to show you the real-time speed of deploying the hounds and the loons in behind. Here we go. This is in normal time. Here's another great example. This one's by SG of Battle Day, and he's going in a war attack against the number one. Coming in from the east with his kill squad first. He's going to be sending in his golem, his heroes, and he has ten bowlers. Using the bowlers to help funnel.
Wizard taking out that army camp on the top side. Now we should be ready to enter that corner compartment. Here we go. It's going to be a jump, rage, and warden ability. Now he's going after that expo, sweeper, infernal, eagle, clan castle, and archer queen. So a very effective target rich environment for the kill squad. Using the king's ability, making sure he can take out as much as possible. And while he's doing that, I've slowed it down, but you can see, again, the rotation of the hounds coming in with surgical loons in behind. Again, a similar comp to the last attack. You've got three hounds. Here you see them crossing the base, attracting any air traps. Haste to get the loons moving because the loons are very slow. A freeze on that isolated inferno, which is very useful. And meanwhile, the kill squad is still going on, taking out the town hall. So you can see where haste is very important when it comes to these loons. And you want to use them after they've entered the base and they're starting to get under heavy fire. You can really see the power of that combination. The bowlers taking out a lot of core defenses and defenses that would hurt the loon portion of the attack. And the loons cleaning up. Nice attack. Now I want to show that there's more than one way to attack a base like this. And Battle Day went ahead and did a second three-star attack on this number one base. So let's run through this base one more time, but with a different comp. This time it starts with a queen walk with four healers from the southeast. Same general spot that that golem came in. But now we only have two hounds and slightly different numbers on the bowlers and loons to compensate for the healers. Now Chris is still going to come in from the east side. He's used a couple babies here to help do the funneling. But in a similar way to the last attack, he's going to come in through that corner with his heroes and use a jump and rage to go after the eagle and the other key defenses. And he's going to also bring in his hounds and loons in that counterclockwise direction, starting from near the north east side. There we go, the clan castle troops have been brought out and they're being taken down. In this attack, the healers are supporting the bowlers and the heroes as the kill squad goes into the base, and here we go. This time there's only two hounds, one's in the CC, and you can see the one crossing the base again. The haste spells. So two ways to go at this base, one with a golem, a different type of kill squad. This one starting with a queen walk. But both attack comps had the same general strategy to go in from the east and tackle the eagle, the air defense, the archer queen and other key defenses and hopefully take out the town hall while the hound and loons do a counterclockwise rotation around the base. And in both cases it worked out for a three star. Now the base isn't a max space and, and certainly it would be a lot harder to three star a max Town Hall 11, of course. But I think the important thing here is to provide an example of how an air attack can work against a base, especially if it has some of its expos down and it has a target rich environment where you can go in with a kill squad first. Now although you saw two examples in the same war against the same base, I'm not saying these attacks are very easy. They take practice and planning. While well, moving a little further away from Gobo Laloon now, I'm going to show as a bonus a quad lava loon attack on a pretty common ring base. And in this attack, you're bringing four hounds, roughly 25 loons. Again, you're going to use the same rotation strategy with the surgical loon deployment and similar spells. 
So let's take a look at this attack. We've got basically an island base with a central eagle and clan castle. Doesn't look that easy for a loon attack, but in this case the kill squad is just comprised of the heroes going in against the queen and the clan castle, hopefully taking out that sweeper and an air defense. Now these dragons are a bit of a pain, so if you can take them out, it gives you a much better chance of a great attack. Now the Lavaloon part of the attack is already underway as the kill squad works in. And you can see here the same general strategy and approach, sending those hounds in to attract any traps, to take the heat off the loons as they take all the flak from the air defenses. The haste sped up the loons. The rage is important, taking them in when they're under heavy fire. And a nice freeze on the back infernal as well as the eagle, and the loons are in good shape to take out the core. Finally, walking around the base, using the haste to speed up the loons. Hound continuing to protect the loons from that back end air defense. And a couple of loons in reserve that can come in on the back end, such as this archer tower here, are always handy. So quad lava loon, very strong attack if you can plan it out well and bring along the right spells and strategy. And there we go, cleanup. So a good three star again in the air by James. Well my aim today was to show the most dominant air strategy I've seen so far at Town Hall 11 post update and also bring some guest attacks to the channel. Attacks from Battle Day and USMC who have both found ways to use Lavaloon variations to get them three stars and I'd like to thank them for sharing their attacks. I hope you enjoyed these attacks. Talk to you later. You can support my channel by subscribing and clicking like if you enjoyed the video. I've recommended a few videos here, but remember my video library has over 125 videos covering all sorts of topics from Town Hall 9 to Town Hall 11. So be sure to check it out. Play like a wizard.